I'm Kendall Hibden, and I'm teaming up with my coworkers to take the scenic route across Central Texas to find out why they love their hometown. Susie Q! Hi! The pride of Johnson City! Oh, welcome! Thanks for inviting me out today. I'm, I'm super excited to see what this town has to offer, so what are you getting me into? Well, you know, we're here because of LBJ. We're very proud of our president. It's the big draw that brings folks here. Um, we've got where he grew up, his ranch, the beautiful park system, but there's so much more to go see, and we're gonna take a look. So you grew up here? I did. I grew up right up the road, and I'd ride my bike right down here where LBJ grew up. And my mother worked here at PEC, and now I work for LCRA. We're so proud of uh, who LBJ was, what he did for this area, and to be serving the community in our town. It's a family tradition. It is. Okay, here we are, LBJ's boyhood home. The porch where in 1937, February 1937, he announced his candidacy to run for the U.S. House of Representatives, right. 10th District, I believe. Do you have anything to announce? It's only 82 years later, but I'd like to announce today that it is hot, y'all. We gotta get out of here, Pecan Street. Does that sound good, Susie? Oh yeah. <laughs> Pecan Street Brewing, right across from the county courthouse, is located in what was once the Blanco County Supply and Hardware Building. For generations, residents of Johnson City would come to the store not just to buy goods, but also to socialize with their neighbors. That spirit continues today as locals and visitors join together over a good meal, live music, and craft beer brewed on site. So what'd you think? It was great. The burger filled me up, but the chocolate cake, what was it called, the beer? All I heard was beer in the batter. Beer, so. batter, cake. So I had my hamburger and beer, as you there suggested. You go. It was great. So I want to go somewhere fun now. What, what do we got? Some more fun. I got a place just on your level. <laughs> on my level. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Also making old buildings new again is the science mill. Housed in a former feed mill dating back to the 1880s, visitors are now met with cutting edge, technology based games and exhibits that are sure to delight visitors both young and old. I'm making a pretty flower. <laughs> no. No way, dude. Now the question is, are longhorns dangerous? <laughs> Over on Main Street, Stidham Outfitters and Custom Leather is just one of the many new businesses to the area. Specializing in Southwest styles, the shop not only offers home goods and gifts, but is home to Seth Stidham's Custom Leather Shop, where the traditional art of Western Sheridan tooling is brought to life. If you're gonna hang out in Johnson City, we need to outfit you, so let's get a cowboy hat, just like LBJ. You gotta try Whittington's Jerky. We couldn't leave town without a stop at Johnson City's landmark, Whittington's Jerky. For over 50 years, Whittington's has been making the famous jerky in their custom-made smokehouse. The jerky is slow smoked for over 12 hours and cut by hand. Be sure to check out the sampling table and I personally recommend the brisket jerky. If that don't butter your biscuit, I don't know what I can do for you. Susie, thanks for inviting me out to Johnson City. The rich history of LBJ was something that I completely expected, but the, the food and the science mill and the Whittington's jerky and all the things that you grew up with are pleasant surprises. So thanks for sharing all that with me. Well, you're welcome. It's a special place and it'll always be home. So come back with me again. I certainly will. Thank you. The only thing more reliable than this is Bob Rose at LCRA. <laughs>